Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for checking my research and my channel. Thanks for connecting with me, guys. We're talking about, guess what? The moon today. <laughs> the moon is going to be talked about a lot in the coming weeks and years. That's for sure. Why? Because for those of you who don't know, I so appreciate finding out that they're going to be doing many projects up there. Um, everything that's space related now will be setting their aims and goals on getting up to the moon, I believe. I want to see what's going to go on, you know? We know their structure's up there. So if somebody does go up there, well, we'll know that either no one's up there or someone's not minding that we stop by and share a planet with them. And I, I would highly doubt that unless, of course, at one point, maybe there was a human contact and another species contact. And that's if these are species. Maybe they're abandoned. Maybe they're ancient, you know. But um, some guy was telling me the other day, uh, symmetrical formations happen. This is Copernicus, by the way. Surface, ever so colorful. This is Merichrysium. Well, I talked to you at the back. Uh, north top side of Merichrysium. Beautiful dome-shaped object, and of course, a bit of color around it. We'll get in a bit closer. Nice, clear, ultra-high definition 5K shots so that we can see this surface. Um, the surface of the moon, guys, we know now that the structures are very reflective, and they're the same uh, reflectivity of the surface. So at times, and most times, hard to see unless we completely zoom up into them and uh, then people get mad. <laughs> see, just those little bumps that are there. Well, we, we tend to think those are the structures. No, the structures are atop most of these objects that we're seeing. And uh, there's pipes. There's pipes and tunnels or, or corridors, whatever you want to call them. They are down there on the surface and they're in every area. I just can't wait to see a crater, you know. You get into a crater, it just looks like the surface has an elevated um, area around it. Always roads, every crater. Do you know that? Did you guys know that? that every single crater has a pipe or tunnel. There's not one that does not. And if they don't, it's because they're probably hiding. But the, the moon does have color. No one's going to tell me uh, the opposite. Many of you know. Many and most probably know. But... Uh, a lot of people aren't doing their homework, sticking it up there. That, Yeah, okay, they say we can't see color in space. Okay, well, if we can't see color in space, look at this structure. If we can't see color in space, um, there's ways to filter it so that we can, right? That's for sure, because how else would NASA be showing us colored planets? When you think of it, Plato Crater here at the top. When you look at the um, edge of the moon, which I actually think there is an edge now. Yeah, it looks thick. But it really doesn't look s s s s s spherical. God, all these flat earth are haters. I hate putting terms to myself, to what I'm doing. Um, I don't use terms myself. No, I'm not a, a flat earther. But you know what? I have yet to find a spherical object. Mare Serenitatis in the top here. <clears throat> Lightning coming down. Mare Serenitatis in the top here. All the beautiful connections to this crater here and to this beautiful area that looks like a an area that's dug out to do mining they really do look like quarries right looks like quarries that are in uh, certain areas we'll get a bit closer to see it a lot of color though and right? that beautiful blue that we see on the surface so Bessel crater that we can we'll see a bit later all the reds in mare serenitatis guys we're right underneath it like it's just at the top there you can see the lip of mare serenitatis and um yeah Look at the colors on the surface and a lot of bridges or tunnels or corridors. Look at this over two supposed craters that you see them going by. Ejecta, okay. Maybe I believe that there could be some down there. But you know what? Ejecta doesn't float, for Christ's sakes. It's not going to float in the sky, you know. And uh, look at the colors of blue that are totally natural. You know, I'm not the only one who posts... Um, moon photos and you'll know it when you go on everyone's page they have that blue spot on their moon photos when they put the color in it well there you go this is a taken color photo obviously my solar imager uh, was a color imager is still a color imager i said was because i can't wait to try the d 
DSLR behind the 14 inch telescope. We're plunged into the ice age, guys. Minus 41 degrees, minus 42 degrees with the wind chill factor here in Montreal, Canada today. It's been like that all week. The winds are whistling and blowing, absolutely incredible. And for those obviously who know, looking on the news, Toronto is plunged really into the ice age too, but I mean, they're, they're to a halt. This is how bad it's gotten. More storms coming. They're talking about Storm Grayson. They're talking about bombogenesis storms. So why are we he hearing all these meteorological terms that we've never heard before? Well, for those who really notice things, when you look outside, uh, have you noticed how those who live in Canadian regions or regions where, where there is snow, the snow is acting differently. The snow feels different, is different, both the texture and the look of it. Yeah, it's white. It's always going to be white. I'm going to get some <laughs> dumb asses telling me it's, it's white. It really is different, the texturing of it. Aristarchus Crater here, colors, purples, and greens. It's not a colored page. And that spot will always be there for the rest of our lives and every time I go up and see it. And if you want to compare with any other footage I ever post, you'll always see the colors are always in the same areas. All the colors on the surface, you know, they're down there naturally. That's the worst of it. And, you know, look around when somebody takes a color photo. Look at the L-shaped structure, whatever it be. You can see a pipe going by there. These are tunnels, tunnels, clearly. A Bessel crater on the right there. Uh, top right, Mare Serenitatis, that area of patch there. Beautiful. This is directly underneath and dead center, there it is, the L-shaped anomaly that's underneath Mare Serenitatis. You can clearly see a surface that is colorful and you can see the blues are deeper, right? They're, they're inside descending levels. So whether these could be uh, not rivers, but could they not be basins of blue substance in it? Maybe it's blue rocks, guys. Maybe it's just literal uh, minerals on the surface. But these greens that we see there, Mesoranitatis, which, by the way, is very, very green and red for some reason. There's Bessel Crater right there with the line going through it. So Ejecta would have climbed over top of Bessel Crater and remained in a straight line crossing it. Okay, can you think of that? So the ejecta would have gone up to one side of the crater, gone into the bottom of the crater, and come up the exact same side, 20 miles across a crater, in line. And then it's going to go over the next crater in line. There's the L-shaped structure again. Those are little things that some might think are stupid, but they're, very, they're not. They're very smart things that you start thinking after a while analyzing the surface. Look at this. Mare Serenitatis, best L crater on the right. And the beginning of that structure on the bottom left there, you see just one arm of it, of that L-shaped structure. But I'm showing you guys where it is. So dead center, you can see um, the blues in descending levels that are a lot deeper. But what are all these corridors or lines? See Mar Mara Serenitatis, how there's a lot more craters, right? When we're close like that. And these blues are intense, okay? And they're intense um, when you see on the channels, I haven't seen many channels, but I've seen a, a few that have the color in the moon and it's the same. You got this blue. Sometimes it's green, by the way. Yep, I've gotten colors that the mares pop, uh, come up green. Top right here, Mare Serenitatis. L-shaped structure again, bottom center. See how it's hard to uh, realize where it is, but when you find it once, guys, you never forget where these objects are. Look at the colors. Greens, blues, and reds, every color of the rainbow spectrum in uh, Mare Serenitatis. Bessel Crater looks highly elevated, again, with that line of the strip going right through it. But look where the strip goes to. It goes to the bottom crater at the bottom of Mare Serenitatis. And then from there, three other lines of ejecta. It's not ejecta, guys. You know, I respect those who think it is. But um, so long me, it's not. I'm allowed my opinion too, are we not? I think everyone's allowed their opinion. Everyone should be allowed an opinion, right? So long as it's not discriminatory or uh, putting another one down. I mean, we're like a bunch of babies, aren't we? 
we need to be regulated all the time, right? We need someone slapping our hands saying, oh, that's not very nice. Do that. You can't put that in someone's lawn. You can't do this. You can't do that. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, guys. Contributors. Amazing people who are along with me for the ride. We got the beautiful 14-inch community telescope. We will be uh, viewing as soon as we can. It's just as simple as that. I'm not teasing you all. I know it sounds like it is, but... I'm being honest with you. The weather's pretty bad here, guys. Pretty cold. You know, there's some deaths. You know, when it's cold like this, the deaths start happening. And, uh, you know, it's pretty crazy. WSO YouTube channel, Steve Olson. Check out to see what he's finding up in the sky. Bill Copeland, David Millar. Thanks for the amazing support, guys. And all contributors, all commenters, every subscriber that's here, and everyone who takes interest in my channel. Please take the time, guys, to check out projectcamelot.org. Again, I keep saying I have no affiliation with them. You know why? Because I'm not, I have no permission to uh, advertise for them. And I don't know the laws of YouTube for that. So I'm just saying this is an amazing website. Please take the time to check out John Lear at projectcamelot.org.